what's up guys and welcome back to another video hope you guys are having a good time i need you to watch this video it is very 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 important for us as we go further in what we do here on this channel it is very very important so i need you to watch this video listen attentively the number one thing is that things has changed things has changed the kind of clothes people put on now, the kind of clothes people wear has changed significantly. And you have to pay close attention to it. The kind of clothes people want is now something comfortable, right? They don't want anything fitted. Like, I don't know maybe where you are, they still want tighter, tighter. But the people that I deal with and the people that change the trend of fashion want something comfortable. And when it comes to wanting something comfortable, the same way you take a measurement, it's not going to be the same way you cut your fabric. So as we go further, during probably my next video on cutting and sewing and things like that, you might see a lot of changes. That's why I had to bring this to your notification. First, a lot of things has changed. The same way we're going to take our measurements still not, never change, but the way we're going to cut it will probably have to change we definitely have to change because there are some baggies that the shoulder has to fall off your shoulder like the sleeve has to fall off all the way from here right this shoulder is still on the accurate shoulder size there are some baggy design that you're going to make and the sleeve is going to fall below your shoulder so that it's going to be more baggy on your body and all of these things are things you have to learn if you're yet subscribed to this channel you should go ahead and do that that's very important. If you look at the trend in the market right now, you should look at trends of what people wear now. You see that they just want something comfortable. Before, if you're taking a trouser measurement, we take the corporate trouser measurement, the lap is fit, the calf is fit, the M has to be tight and we have to. But now they want boot cut, they want palazzo, they want baggy, they want a street cut. They don't want anything too tight. And these are the things you have to pay good attention to. And if you can master this, you're going to see the ease of actually being a fashion designer. Right? Because now you don't have to be too structured with, oh, this thing has to be exactly like this. You can go as wide as possible. When it comes to making a skinny pant, how, how tight could you go? Once it's reached your skin, that is all you can do. That is the highest you can do. But when it comes to wearing a baggy, how big can it be? How big can the trouser be? How big do your customer want it? As big as possible. The sky is the limit. You can use 700 yard to make a single pant. Fashion is fashion. And these are all the things you have to put attention to during our next cutting. Even when you start making your own clothes, start creating that sense of comfort. People do not want... There are some people that still want fame and tight stuff. But the people that actually change the trend of markets, the people that change styles, which are the youth that has money, what they want is different. And do not forget that the poor usually want to like, uh, copy the rich. And that is the thing. And you have to pay attention to that. These are called old styling. So as we go further, I need you to pay attention furthermore so that you can understand the things that has changed. And the funny thing is that if you can get this, if you can know how this is done, you realize that people that wear this type of design, that wear baggy, you can even see what I'm wearing. It's not too baggy, but see my sleeve, it's, it's quite big, right? But it goes, looking at me from the camera, is it bad? That's the thing. And you're going to realize that the people that want this, the people that like something like this they're willing to pay and these are the things you should be curious about and that's why i'm here i'm here to like take you through this journey take you through further more so that you can see how this is done and fortunately for me the place that i look at that i'm located at uh, is one of the area in nigeria that actually control the luxury market and money which is lagos island I see the trend, I have to follow the trend to keep up, to make the money. I'm not extremely that kind of like a trend person, but you have to deliver what the customer wants. 
and I have to teach you how to deliver what the customer wants. The fabric they use, you know, is different. The fabric they use is different from your general this thing of cashmere and stuff. It's different. So I don't want to talk too much. I just need you to understand that this has changed and you need to start paying close attention. The whole process of I make traditional, I make this, my traditional and Agbada. Yes, it's fine. Traditional is okay. People wear traditional for stuff. But to actually move the market and to move the money, you have to be more creative. You have to be more comfortable with your style. You have to be more open to more ideas of style, of creativity. And that would be about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I just want to like open your mind to see the next thing, the, the thing that is going on in the market right now. I just want to open your mind and I hope you enjoyed the video. Try something new with your design. Literally try something big. Try something baggy. Try something different from your usual of making kaftan and senators and stuff. Just try something different. You're going to be amazed. And that will be about this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my video, if this is the first time, you should subscribe to the channel. And I will see you on the next one. Do have a lovely rest of the day. Bye-bye. Signing out. You can follow me to see more of my design on Instagram at Clothing. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.